guys, welcome back to our channel. And today we're going to talk about the snap maker. This is the snap maker, three in one uh, laser engraving machine, 3D printer, and CNC machine. So we've been using it for quite some time, and I got a few things to tell you about the machine. So first off. The printer comes with three modules depending on what you want to do. So we have the CNC module, we have the 3D printing module, as well as the laser engraving module. So right now we've already installed the laser engraving module. These are 10 watt module, but if you need more power, there's also a 20 watt module that you can buy separately. But for normal work at home, a 10 watt module will be fine. The size, the laser engraving size is 320 by 300. That's a little bit uh, medium so it's enough for most crafts at home but if you need something bigger then definitely you might want to take a specialized laser engraver something like the x tool that has an extension or the alfero laser that also comes with an extension as far as i know the snap maker doesn't have an extension for the laser engraving uh, task but for small tasks it will do so today we're going to review this machine we're going to see how fast it cuts we're going to check its software and we're also going to see the quality of work that you can expect from it. So as you guys know, the snap maker is like all these other hobby laser engravers. It's a diode engraver, that means it's safe for use. Uh, by Most people will find it safe for use. But still, remember it's classified as a class 4 device, that means it's a dangerous thing. So anytime you, you're doing your laser engraving, make sure you have your safety items around. That, that means you should be wearing your goggles and any other safety clothes and stuff like that so when it comes to engraving you can engrave a whole wide of materials with this laser engraver of course the usual stuff we'll be engraving a lot of wooden planks over here then apart from wood you can also engrave leather you can also engrave a slate you can engrave tiles ceramic a lot of stuff but you can't engrave uh, metal with this a laser module of course the power is not enough for engraving metal but still there's a workaround around that there's a way you can just take um, do some spray painting on the metal then do the engraving like that but it won't really engrave the metal it won't really cut through the metal but you'll just be engraving uh, the paint that you have painted on top of the metal so with that said let's now go to the software so the stuff maker uses uh, Luban and Luban is the proprietary software that uh, the laser engraver comes with but of course if you guys want to use the common uh, the common software such as laser RGBI or any other software that you're comfortable with the machine is compatible with it so that shouldn't really be a big issue one thing that I've noticed about Luban is that it's very very limited compared to other uh, laser engraving software but still it does the work so for this review we're going to use Luban and we're going to see how things are going to come out so first off we need to get our files ready just let's look uh, let's try printing a napkin holder we have the SVG files let's select one of the files uh, I think uh, I think that one will be fine couple of settings over there and well there, there's the file of course you can always make your own files or you can download uh, from various resources or online or you can even buy them from etsy or any other places and with that let's see so our napkin holder we want it to be 160 millimeters width so we've set the size i think our file is now ready for printing it's just as simple as creating the toolpath you can see the settings over there so the preset is cutting we'll be cutting five millimeters but anyway uh, we'll really be cutting a three millimeter plank plank but if you put five millimeters that means it's going to cut in one pass so that's just fine and after that you can see the job is going to take about 57 minutes that's quite a lot compared to uh, what we've seen with other software such as laser RGBL so 57 minutes is quite a lot but still for the purposes of this we we'll just go with it so we're going to export the file we're going to put it on a USB disk of course if you want you can always transfer the file to your machine via Wi-Fi 
or via an Ethernet cable. But for us, <laughs> for us, we're going to use a USB cable. So let's save the file. That's the napkin holder. Let's save the file. I think now we are ready. Then we just need to take the USB disk and then insert it into the printer. So you can see the unit has various uh, options where you can put various cables, the USB drives and things like that. So with that said, I think that's all for now. Uh, let's get ready. So let's get ready to do some training. Of course, make sure you have your safety gear. So the most important ones are of course are the goggles. And if you have any other persons in the workshop, make sure they also have the right safety gear. And well, that's that. So we are ready to make our napkin holder. But first things first, before I even put these goggles on, let's get our material ready. We're going to cut the material. We're going to cut uh, 320 by 320. That should be enough for the for the size of the bed. And then from there, we're going to proceed with the cutting. So let's get to the handiwork. So our, our planks are ready, we have a couple of sheets over here, we're going to use these sheets to make the napkin holders. So first things first, let's just switch on the machine, it's already plugged into the power, then there's just a small knob at the back over here. Now one thing that you're going to realize is that the stamp maker is not a quiet machine. So whether you're doing 3D printing or you're laser engraving or doing any CNC work, this machine is quite noisy. So if you're planning to use it in the office or maybe at home, just keep that in mind. It's not like it's a big deal, but still, well, that it is what it is. So the best option would be for you to use it in your garage or maybe your dedicated workshop, but at the home, it's quite noisy. And with that said, let's just get started with our there's engraving and laser cutting work. First of all, make sure that your plank is really, really flat. Otherwise, the laser engraver might not uh, might encounter some problems when trying to cut or do any engraving work. So we have a fairly flat sheet over here. Just place it on the bed. So next, uh, we're just going to the stamp maker has a user interface. Just going to click start. Select our file from the USB drive, that's the napkin holder, and you can see some stats about the work. So for instance, you can see that we're using 100% laser power, that will enable uh, the laser to cut through the plank. Then you can see the work speed is 100%, that's a little bit faster, and you can see the estimated time. This work will take about one hour, basically 57 minutes, and basically that's that. So that's it, let's continue. Uh, over here we have to select the mode you can either put automatic mode or manual mode and for us we're going to use the manual mode click start then next is the calibration uh, the calibration step so for you to calibrate it's very very easy just make sure the laser module has gone down then you need to put a piece of paper just a normal paper and then make sure uh, the head is just uh, what the head should touch the paper just a little bit tightly it shouldn't be very tight you should be able to move the paper front and back so this means that the laser module is well calibrated if it's coming out too quickly let me just give you an example so let's say if here if you don't want your paper to be like this and also you don't want it to be too tight you see like i can't remove the paper you don't want it to be too tight you want it to be just right so just right is something like 
yeah, something like this. You can be able to move it up and down. Now you know you are good. With that said, next thing is just getting the work started. So of course, wear your safety goggles. And we're all about safety. And from there, we just proceed with the work. Okay. So right now, the machine is going to run the boundaries so that we can know where uh, we can know the we can get the workspace of the the projects. So basically, what it's telling us is that that area that you've seen the laser head going, making that kind of uh, square, that's the whole work area. That's where the work is going to take place. In case you realize that the laser engraver is going past your wooden sheet, it means your job is going to be missed. So make sure that the sheet is just right for the job. And from that, you're just going to click next. Okay guys, the laser cutting has just started and as you've seen from the user interface, it's going to take about one hour for this work to be completed. So we're just going to continue filming and we'll see you back, we'll see you after about one hour. So you guys can see how much smoke is being emitted by the laser module as you are cutting the wooden sheet. So there's a lot of smoke coming out and that's why it's important when you're using a laser engraver to make sure that your workshop is well aerated. You can put some fans over there and just make sure there's enough airflow inside so that you don't end up choking. Apart from that, the other option is you can buy the snap maker with an enclosure or if you wish, you can also make your own enclosure so that the smoke is contained into the enclosure. Just make sure the enclosure has a vent where you can fix a pipe and then the smoke will get out. Okay, so the work is progressing on well. We have about 11 minutes to go. And in 11 minutes, we'll be able to see what kind of work this laser engraver gave us. And from the quality of the work, we can be able to know whether you can use the stamp maker laser engraver for any hobby projects or any business projects or any commercial projects that we have. So in 10 minutes, we'll see what we have been made and then we'll give our verdict. Hey guys, finally it's done. The work is looking nice, so I'll just clip complete and then I just turn off the machine. Now you guys know this machine was really really noisy. I know you can even feel like you can hear me much louder and clearer. And here's the work that you've been able to do. So let me just come and remove this. That's nice. Uh -huh. Very very clean cut. We have our parts of the napkin holder. I think we can just try to see how it's going to turn out. Uh, so here we have the base. So this one basically just goes in here. And depending on where you bought your file, so sometimes some of these vendors they don't cut uh, the files accurately. So I, I can see our side is a little bit uh, shaky but that's not a big deal we're just going to hold it with glue and we also have this other part it's gotten it nicely so what we're just going to do is we're going to get our wood glue and then make sure that this thing stays like this and i think from there we'll have a pretty good napkin holder but just before you do that in case you wanted to uh, have some finished products you can either decide to finish this wood either with some varnish or maybe some paint or anything that you want to, to use and after finishing the parts that's when you're going to glue them together 
So we just need to do some post-processing and then we end up with the final product. <laughs>